Okay, y'all, just real quick, um, to show you how printing could go all in one moment, um, I made these the size of my eight and a half by 14, these, so both of the sides, and the, this one is a 13 by 19, this one is 13 by 19, so it's pretty much showing you, um, I'm pretty much showing you how you could format a uh, printing to piece it together. What you would need to, to do. So showing you the areas that really are handled. Again, I'm gonna duplicate this layer to make it a little more brighter. I really just love the grungy stuff for um their outer edges and how it's just really you know freelance and makes it easier to put on a um to put on a white background you know so with my rectangle is gonna you know, do that so let's go to file um print So this is pretty much going to give me the area I was referring to. Okay. And go to done. And then I still want to take away anything that's going to interfere. So file print. Okay, so same area, background area removed, but because we knew where it was. We can print it. So I'm gonna go to print. That's fine. I know. Proceed. Please make sure you have your mirror on. I'll discover which printer I went to. In just a second. Right now. We're gonna hear the action. So. I got that printing. You can go back to your file. Print. Okay, so let's pop back in the other areas that we don't like that we're not trying to print. So let's make all this other stuff visible. So we just printed was this area. Okay. So I'm gonna come down here. Let's take this part away. So let's go back to our file. And I hope, hope, hope I put mirror on. I did. Let's see. If not, that's a waste of piece of paper back there. Oh, I got mirror and high speed on. So I'm not trying to take all day. I'm going to click okay. Cancel on that part now. We're gonna move this back up. One side, you see that we'll line that part up, and to 
this black part. This is pretty much what we're supposed to be getting. Mm -hmm. This is pretty much it right here. Let me take it. Take it down just a tinge. To make sure there is some overlap. Uh, let me go back. Uh, cancel. So now that this is there, which this is what I should be getting, right? So I'm then going to just double check. Like I'm gonna print. Was it already up there? It's, this is where I started. So just come on down. And come on down. See, like right there. Lining it up. That should pretty be, be pretty good. So, go to done. It didn't say print. Take this off. This is what I need. Oh, this one I started with. So this is the one that would be removed, or we would have black in our image. File, print. This should give me that because I pressed done. You see now that that's gone. Go ahead and print. I'm gonna load up my second piece of paper. Okay, y'all, so it's working. It's working. So now, which I did not plan on doing this. Um, but now I'm going to come in with my 8.5 by 11 pieces of paper. So over, let's start with this side. Now I'm so hyped. This is not what I anticipated doing. So here, that's the space that we'll be occupying. So I'm going to go back to File. Print because it printed perfectly, and this is why I'm going to change my paper size. Eight and a half by fourteen. Premium presentation net. Blah 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 blah. Go ahead and click OK. It will adjust your perspective. But yeah. Okay. So let's go to the orientation that we were using. When I was stacking it up. Okay, so here we should have this bad boy fit right in the. And this is the area. So pretty much. This. Okay, then you go to done if you remember. That will lock it in right there. So then let's remove that background. Back up, and we can see what we didn't get, so I should be able to put this back and have no in it. Oh, let's make sure we didn't ignore that. Okay, let Well, this is at least letting you know what you've already got. I'm going to make the file print. Hopefully, none of that will show up. Just leave up oh, and boom, lead me to believe I'm on the right track. Probably come over a teach and it should be there and there it is. Damn. So now I'm gonna come and print this file and proceed. 
So we've tackled this corner. I'm gonna hit this lower one. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's see where I should go live. I'm not gonna go live. I'm just gonna do it on, do it on um, on here on YouTube. Okay, y'all. So sorry I left y'all on for a little bit, but I just finished printing this area, so I'm gonna come down. <coughs> that doesn't matter if it's on. Let's see. This one will keep us in line. So boom. So I'm gonna pop back into the file print section. I literally have to do this whole thing now. Down, down, down. I should where my boundaries are with this one. Because I don't know where else to go, I'm gonna try to figure out exactly. Uh, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm so glad the right thing that belongs to you. So let's go see if we have that cover file. Print. I need to make sure our whole little air see, I'm doing too much. Not enough at the same time. I love this idea. It is for um if you don't even want to deal with the Adobe or paint and you just want to stick in Photoshop, this is a way. Uh you will have to tweak it to your own liking, but you'll easily be able to come back in. If you plot your rectangles, you'll easily be able to come back in and um you know Tell where you are by you know what I'm doing. Going back and forth. Now that I see I'm in a good space, I'm going to remove it. And then I'm gonna bring back in this one to kind of keep us in place. So file bring it. And I've already changed it. These are our eight and a half by eleven areas. That's it. I could probably go up a little bit. Don't have to, but that'll just give me a little overlap, which might confuse me later. But I'll print this. I think I'm not gonna do. Who knows? Let's get the other half done. There's only four more sheets. So I need to do these two sides. Better run a little. I'm just going to go back to print and I need it tomorrow. You know, come over here face color. Pretty much be able to just slide it all across. Little strokes, little strokes. Okay, so I'm looking over at my printed image and I am only lacking Spider Man's foot because that was not the case. But it's true, so go to done, so it'll stay there. And when it's in done, we're gonna move this. I'm gonna leave this so that we can stay in line. And make sure file print. You can also get this whole little technique with guidelines. However, once you get to this part, you will not be able to see. Take a tinch over just to see where. Um, there's the edge. 
and I'm back. So I'm going to print this. Print. It's going to say I'm out of time. Like, I this line. So I'm going to go add those and I'm going to pause this. I'll be back. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to come back for this left hot, which is, I think it's the only part that I really like. I'll print. So just to overview, this is how you pretty much print large scale items if you only want to stay in. I'll cancel this because I need my folders back first. Bring this up. It's kind of, it felt overlappy. Let's see. Messing up. There's nowhere. So, so can this part, I just want to see. It was one, two, so it was a, a nice amount of overlap, which is fine. This area I want to be coming to get, so. Hmm. <clears throat> so to print, this is the editor. And I'll print this. What are they doing? Let's check our border. Let's see, we hit one. Oh, there we are. So, yeah. Print. Let's see, this is my last one. So, guys, the next part you'll see will probably be pressing. And again, I'm using, because I might not keep the first part, um, I'm using some blackout curtains from Walmart. Anywho, holla. Bye.